so welcome back to another episode, and it's been 10 years since the very first episode of the Happy Console Gamer Show was ever put onto YouTube, and it's been a long time, I can't believe it. But what I believe that I am going to do today is watch my very first review. And I don't go and watch a lot of my early stuff anymore, but I definitely keep it online as a reminder to myself to not smoke, you know, for me, in a couple days, it's 10 years quitting smoking, and I'm gonna look at a guy here, 10 years ago, who is me, who was a smoker, and he, doing his first video, kinda rough editing, just rough overall, it's like, the confidence is in there, it's, it's interesting to be sitting here now, looking back, uh, and looking at myself, so, this is something that's gonna be, a bit of a journey, it's gonna be a little bit disturbing for myself, and uh, yeah, I have to do it. I have to watch my first video, it has been 10 years, so here we go. I just know. Yeah, I had to turn down the music. The funny thing is, is I was so... The original time I did this, when I made this video, look at this fake opening I did here. But I had the audio, my audio, for speaking, coming out of only one speaker because I was such a, a noob at making this stuff and... Oh my god. And so here's another thing, you see all the footage that I'm using for the video game footage. I used my video camera to film my television screen because it wasn't really good capture devices back then. It wasn't as easy to do this kind of stuff and uh... You know, the one thing I will say is I really started with a game that I truly did love and I really... Wanted to give it my all, and I didn't want to get in front of the camera to do this. I felt very, I don't know, I was very insecure, I didn't want to do any of this. But you can see, look at this whole opening I did for this, and uh, there's a bit, a bit of charm here going on, and uh, this is all from filming the screen, a lot of this is from filming the screen. Oh, and here I am, with the bandana, ten years ago, and... Oh my god, my voice is so much deeper, it's, it's, it's kind of spooky, and this couch used to be right behind me here, and oh, the old computer, that's my old PC, that used to be beside me there as well, and I look, I can't believe I'm the same person, can you believe I'm the same person, I look so ill, and that's what you get for smoking for 18 years, 30 cigarettes a day, you'll end up looking like this guy, here. And people have asked me also why I wore the bandana. Why I wore the bandana back then is because I had long hair. It was all straightened and back and it was kind of cool. I had cool hair. Uh, though I've been very lucky. I've, I've still never lost my hair. My grandfather had amazing hair. Uh, I never kind of like, uh, you know, he had a huge head of hair. I'm not going to lose my hair, knock on wood. But yeah, you know, but I... I appreciate this John here, I really do, I'm, an, I'm nostalgic about him, I can't believe that I used to live my life and be him though. It's, it's unbelievable. And you know, I'm married now, and even my wife said, you know, I, she's like, yeah, you're, you're still good looking back then, she's like, but, you know, you were a smoker then, I could never have dated you, and I, I think I probably re ruined a lot of uh, potential relationships with people because I smoked, they didn't want to be with a smoker and all of this, but, you know, let's listen here a bit. It's interesting because this is the very first time I ever got in front of a camera uh, and uh, I I wanted to, I was watching the AVGN and I just loved his stuff and I knew, I, 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 I don't know, I, I, I didn't want to do James's thing, I wanted to do my thing and I was like, I want to talk about Fantasy Star because it's important, so I forced myself to come in front of the camera and what you don't know is while I was filming this, I'm smoking off camera, I kept pulling my cigarette up doing that very first episode. This episode here, and this again, this is all filmed off the TV that I I look at here, because I I'm, I've got the camera going, but I also I'm on the TV behind as a monitor, so I can see how things are, are looking, if things if I'm holding up a game, if there's shine on it or not, and I played Fancy Star on this TV here, and I captured all this footage. Man, how medieval, how medieval. I like my Zelda shirt though. That's is the one thing that is kind of interesting, but I. You know, when I look at my early videos is that a lot of people talk about YouTube, mon you know, demonetization and all this kind of stuff where this first hundred videos I made, 
they were all for free. There was no money on any of them. You can, you can put ads in videos back then. This is for the pure passion of doing it. And uh, I felt the need to come in front of the camera and talk about this stuff because it was really, really important to me. Oh, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so glad I have footage of this because my friends down the street, well, they were down the street when I lived in Delta, they sold their house. The parents sold the house. And this is the basement that I came into uh, when I first saw Fantasy Star. And this, I get shivers, man. This basement is so nostalgic. We played Dungeons and Dragons down here. We had said there's me holding the camera back then. And uh, it was really even a big deal 10 years ago, as it is to me now, that that's where I played Fantasy Star at for the very first time. That very spot was a monitor, their little Commodore monitor that they had the Master System hooked onto. And there was just so many people. And this is the spot I said, hey, right here beside all this garbage. <laughs> it's so funny. That's the spot I stood in that changed my life. and. Honestly, everything you see behind me in the entire show, oh, that, that's, it all exists because of this moment. Oh, uh, look at me here. I'm talking about it as though it was a, a religious moment. That's, sorry, that moment. I'm so happy I filmed that because that, that's 10 years ago. And I say that house, they've sold the house. That basement isn't there anymore, like the same way. And I got to go in it. And that's so important for me going forward. And, you know, I, a big reason and... Uh, I did this video is that this was a really important time in my life being 14 years old when I first originally played the game and I wanted to kind of capture that and I never did I never captured it in this video the way I wanted to my love and passion for the game and I did a couple more fancy star style reviews of this first game and I've never gone it right and one thing I'm going to do this summer is I'm going to try to get it right as best as I can with now and I'm going to film my what will be my final fancy star video and that's gonna come out this summer at one point i'm just waiting for the right time i'm getting a nice really nice camera from victor lucas and i'm gonna go uh anyways i'll save it for it i'm gonna save it for it but yeah it's it, you know i had to do a whole bunch of stuff when i filmed the screen with my camera to get this footage so it didn't flicker i remember doing all these filters and things to make it not flicker and and all of that and to be honest back in 2008 this this was kind of amazing editing i've often said if the show that i do now the way i do the show now if i did it back in 2008 i probably would be a million subscriber channel but you know I, me being the guy i am i'm a i'm a very slow learner with things and i i it takes me a long time to to get things and it took me a long time to understand how to do the show because there was no roadmap there was no show that i watched that was really i could say oh, i want to do my show like theirs because i wanted to do my own thing and it took me a long time to get my own style having my games behind me talking from the camera and um footage but just kind of doing it this is an early kind of style look at this this is before this couch behind me was before the modern day uh, you know, shows of, you know, having video games behind you. I originally did this and then I quit smoking and I bought some Ikea shelves and I made these shelves and I'm like, okay, we're going to start. And then everybody else in the world started to do the shelves behind them after I did. And I, as I said, it was a very embarrassing thing to do in 2008 to have video games behind you and talk about memories of video games. It was not done. People did not do it. People did not get emotional talking about their video game memories and this is what i was attempting to do here i was talking about how all these games are very important to me and had all these uh, moments in my life uh, look at myself though eh i i the john back then would never believe that i would have grown a beard i mean he just couldn't believe it he'd be like oh no i'm not gonna do that uh yeah but you know me me and him i'm the guy i'm looking at right now we're we're still the same person I have a little bit more experience uh, in life and in, on YouTube now. I've he this guy, no pun intended, because I'm very like gaunt looking, but he was very green to YouTube. He had no idea what he was doing, none at all. <laughs> that warning fanboy rant coming. This is when I got into a whole thing about how they made Nye look like a furry style of character, and I was really angry about it for some reason. I don't know why I was so mad. I didn't like the change of the character designs. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's so funny. 
so funny to see myself back then, man. And that couch, that couch used to be behind me. This used to be just a video game playing room. I, I used to just come in here and chill out and, and play video games. And oh, oh, and that picture there is by Dave Carter. Uh, wow. That's, that's incredible. Dave Carter, he did some of my original artwork. He did the video game footage for the Happy Console Gamer movie. A really wonderful guy. I met him and his girlfriend back in the damn fantasy store online. And we became friends still to this day. And uh, yeah, what a what a trip down memory lane. It, it's, it's funny, my voice was so deep back then. My face was so thin. I was, I was 135, 40 pounds back then. I'm like 175, 180 pounds, actually. Now, uh, it's so weird to see myself back then, but I believe we should never take these videos down of ourselves. Keep them up. As a reminder, this was you. Uh, you have to embrace yourself, your faults, everything like that. I, I have often said, as I said, that I keep the videos up as a reminder to myself that this is who I was, and uh, I, I'm kind of nostalgic about them, and I'm really happy that there is some record of what I looked like back then. Even though I look so goddamn not good. So, anyways, guys, I had shared with you today my very first video on the YouTubes. So, anyways, guys, until next time.